I was in Princeton for sabbatical, and uh, I think Joe Killian gave a talk there about something about some two-prover proof system and non-deterministic exponential time. And there was something about his talk uh, that made me think that um, you could sort of simulate non-deterministic, you could do all non-deterministic exponential time in exponential time, which like, you know, you would show a collapse of uh, these deterministic and non-deterministic classes. And I told Muli Safra about that, who was actually my postdoc at the time, I think, and he was also in Princeton. Um, and uh, we started talking about it, and then it turned out that that would be true if, now it seems like out of a, a rabbit out of a hat, if some graph theoretic problem uh, was uh, easy to approximate. Uh, and the graph theoretic problem is called a clique problem. It's like you have a graph and you would like to find a subset of the graph which all edge, um, where all ed uh, vertices have edges between them. And uh, it turned out that if you could approximate the size of the largest clique in a graph, then you could have showed that non-deterministic non exponential time was equal to exponential time. Turning this on its head, it says that it's hard to approximate the size of the largest clique in a graph if non-deterministic exponential time is not equal to exponential time. And then when you sort of downsize this, you get essentially a result that says that it's hard to approximate clique if p is different than np. So there's an np hardness result hiding in there. And this, this whole idea of using a multi-prover interactive proofs, something that then morphed to something called probabilistically checkable proofs, PCPs, uh, started with that work. And uh, how to use that in order to prove hardness of approximation started with that work. And that's become a complete field. Okay. That I'm very proud of. So probabilistically checkable proof, the idea is the following. Usually people think of proofs, mathematicians think of proof as a string that you can read in a book, right? It starts from statement one, statements fall, QED. A probabilistically checkable proof is a way to write a proof in such a way that you can actually, you don't have to read the entire proof, you can probe it at um, some locations, not in all of them, and you should think of it as if I'm choosing these locations at random, and check, make some some check on the, those locations you've, co you've probed, some local checks, and if there is a mistake of the, in the original proof, there's a very good chance you'll find a mistake in the local uh, check. Uh, so it's these proofs which are um, probabilistically checkable because you're sort of choosing the locations at random, and furthermore, you have to read a lot less than reading the entire proof. Of course, you don't get certainty, you get probability of success. And now the kind of parameters that I talked about a minute ago come into play. How many places in the proof do you have to look at? What is the probability of error? In what are the sizes of the questions and answers? 